we're seeing how everyone is trying to respond the best they could. Uh, you know, uh, who would have thought that you as a steel maker uh, is now producing oxygen, uh, which is being sent to, to hospitals and to other medical centers. Uh, if I could just begin by asking you, Tata Steel now, how much uh, oxygen are you producing? Daily is quite a large number. Yeah, we're producing about 1,000 tons a day of liquid oxygen, which we are distributing to, I think, eight or nine different states every day. We are also importing a lot of tankers to help uh, the supply chain. Hmm. So we're doing everything that's possible to help. Right, that's wonderful. 1,000 tons, that's quite a lot. And I'm guessing that because most of your plants are sort of in the eastern part of India, are these tankers and is the oxygen going mostly to the neighboring states? So which are the destinations at the moment? Yeah, so we have three plants in uh, eastern India where we have oxygen plants. Uh, two are in Odisha. So from Odisha, we are servicing Odisha, Telangana and uh, Andhra Pradesh because geographically that's closer. And from Jamshedpur, we are supplying, of course, to Jharkhand, West Bengal, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, and uh, uh, I think something started going to Madhya Pradesh. So centrally, the government decides uh, what goes where uh, to optimize the supply chain. And uh, we deliver as per the guidance uh, received from Delhi. Okay, that's wonderful. But uh, tell me, Mr. Narendran, that from your point of view, from a steelmaker's point of view, the fact that this oxygen is being now used or being diverted for medical use, that doesn't hamper your steelmaking operations in any way. Not materially, because the liquid oxygen that we produce is largely meant as a buffer. Hmm. Uh, it's to be kept as two, three days of stock uh, for <coughs> use in the steel plant, which uses much more oxygen to make steel, but in gaseous form. Right. So if the plant has a problem, then you draw into your liquid oxygen stocks. Right. So that's how the liquid oxygen uh, capacity is typically a fraction of your overall oxygen producing capacity. So uh, we are dipping into what is our buffer stock. So if tomorrow we have a problem in the gas plant, then we will have a problem in the steel plant. But I think we live with that risk because it's more important to supply the oxygen to the hospital. Right. 